Here is exactly how to set up single sign-on in Jira. So the first thing we're gonna do is jump in and claim our domains. I'll go to my settings on the top right, go to user management, we'll go to the settings tab, and in here we'll click on domains. And we can go ahead and verify our domain. Once we have our domain added, we'll go ahead and claim our accounts by clicking the button on the right side. And I'll go ahead and click next. You could also download a quick CSV to review all of those accounts, uh, but I'll go ahead and just skip that process. And once again, I'll select automatically claim. I'll review all of my settings and click on claim accounts. Now this process technically isn't required to set up SSO. This makes it much easier to administer all of your users in Jira and gives you the ability to actually make name changes and email changes to the accounts that you've claimed. Once all of those are claimed, we could move on to the SSO setup process. I'll click on the security tab at the top and I'll click on identity providers. And here we have a lot of identity providers to choose from. One thing to keep in mind is that if you're not using Google, you are gonna to have to have an Atlassian Guard subscription, which is roughly $4 per user per month. Google Workspace is free. The rest of these are gonna require the subscription. I'm using Microsoft Azure AD, so I'll go ahead and choose that option for myself. I'll give this a directory name and I'll just use my company name. And I'm gonna be manually setting up and provisioning these accounts. Once added, I'll go ahead and select the SAML single sign-on option. I'll click next here. And to get this information here, I'll go ahead and jump over to my AD environment. I'll start the setup there and we'll be able to pull the information from Azure into our details here. Jumping over to Entre here, I'll click on applications, go to enterprise applications, and I'll go ahead and add a new application. Uh, you'll be able to see Elastin Cloud here below. It should be one of the first options, uh, but you could also search for it and it should come up for you. So I'll select Elastin Cloud. I'll leave the default options and name as is. Once Atlassian Cloud is activated, I'll head over to the single sign-on tab. And here I'll select SAML, and that should bring us to this screen here. And I'll go ahead and save my changes. And once that loads, I should have all my information ready. I'll scroll all the way down to step number four to set up Atlassian Cloud, and I'll copy over the login URL. And going back to our Jira setup, I'll paste that into the first field here. Next, I'll grab the Microsoft Entra identifier and paste that into the second field. And the very last thing to do is to grab our base 64 certificate. I'll go ahead and download that and open it up in my text editor and paste that into the third field here in the Jira setup. I'll click on next and now I'll get a couple of URLs that I need to enter in on the Azure side. I'll copy over the first one, which is the service provider entity URL. And I'm gonna go ahead and edit step number one here, basic SAML configuration, and I'll add an identifier here and paste in the value that we just copied and make sure that it is set as the default. I'll go ahead and grab the second URL from Jira and we'll add a reply URL in Azure. And same process as before, we'll go ahead and set this one as the default. Now we go ahead and click save. And once we close out this window, we'll be prompted to test out our single sign-on just to make sure that it is working. So I'll click on yes here and then I'll go ahead and test the sign-in. We're gonna go ahead and hit the next button. And at this point in the process, we're gonna to need to go over to Entra and we'll start the Atlassian setup for the SSO there and pull that information over to these fields here. So inside of Entra, I'll go to my applications, I'll go to enterprise applications and I'll add a new app. You should already see Atlassian here as one of the featured apps at the bottom, but if you don't see it, you can just search for it in the search box and it should show up. I'll leave everything as default and click on create. Once that's set up, I'll head over to the single sign-on tab. And in here, I'll select SAML as my single sign-on method. And I'm gonna get a pop-up to add some default settings. I'll go ahead and click on yes here. Once that's set up, I'll refresh the screen to make sure all my information is propagated. And I'll go ahead and scroll all the way down to get the information that I need. So the first thing I'll grab is the Microsoft Entra identifier. I'll copy that over and I'll paste that into the first field here in the SAML setup in Jira. Next, I'll grab the login URL and that's gonna go into the second field. And lastly, I'll need the base64 certificate. I'll go ahead and download that and I'll open it on my local machine in a text editor file and I'll copy over that contents. And we'll paste that into our third field here. And I'll click on next. And now we have a couple of fields that we'll be bringing over from Jira to our Entra setup. So I'll go ahead and copy the first one. Back in Entra, I'll go ahead and edit the basic SAML configuration. And then I'm gonna add an identifier to the entity ID and paste in that value, making sure to also set it as the default. Same exact process for the second URL. I'll copy that over, add a new reply URL, paste that in and select it as the default. Once that's done, I'll go ahead and save the SAML configurations and I'm gonna be prompted to test the SSO right now, but I'll go ahead and wait on this because we're not quite done with the setup yet. All right, now back in Jira, I'll go ahead and click on next and we're gonna link the domain that we initially created at the start of the video. 
And now we're done. I'll go ahead and save the SAML configuration and I could go in and view that information here. If needed, I could reference this data later if I need to adjust any settings or even delete this entire configuration to set it up again. Now that our SAML is set up, we could go to the authentication policies on the left. And now we have a new policy for users in grid.io. In order for me to test this out, I'll go ahead and edit this policy and I'll add myself in as a member. And make sure not to lock yourself out in this process. I would recommend having at least one more organizational administrator here in JIRA. That way you don't accidentally lock yourself out once this policy does apply. Now that I'm added, I'll head back into Entra and I'll test this application out using this button at the top. I'll hit the test sign in and make sure that this takes me directly to Atlassian without any errors. And as soon as I test this, I ran into an error. So we actually need to change one more thing within our configurations to make this work. And that's gonna be under the attributes and claims. So I'll go ahead and edit that. And the first item here is gonna be the claim name. So I'll go ahead and click on that. And instead of using the source attribute of user principal name, I'm gonna click this drop down and type in user.mail. I'll go ahead and save this. And once that's saved, we'll get another recommendation to test this out one more time. I'll go ahead and click yes and make sure that we don't run into any more errors. And I'll add myself as a user to this application to make sure that I actually authenticate. And then back in Jira in my authentication policies, I'll go back into the new policy that I created and I'll make sure that single sign on is enforced. Testing the sign in one more time. And again, just making sure that I actually land on the Atlassian homepage. And it looks like we are up and running now. And now we can start adding more members from our organization into this policy to make sure that it's in effect for all users. So back inside of our identity providers, there is gonna be a provisioning section down here. And I'll go ahead and set up the provisioning. I'll click on next. And we're gonna have a couple of URLs here that we'll bring into Entra in just a moment. Back in Entra, inside of our Atlassian Cloud application, I'll click on the provisioning tab. And then in here, I'll click on provisioning. And provisioning mode is gonna be automatic. And these are the tenant URL and secret that we'll copy over from Jira into our provisioning setup in Entra. Once we have that entered in, I'll go ahead and test the connection. Once everything looks good, I'll go ahead and save this. Now back in Jira, I'll go ahead and click next and save our configuration. And now we have our provisioning set up. You should see your sync users and groups coming over shortly. And they'll also be showing up inside of your directory. So that was a quick setup on the SSO. Thanks for watching our tutorial on how to set up SSO for Jira. And if you're interested in working with us on any Jira or Atlassian related projects, feel free to hit the first link in the description down below.